Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthew Conlon and today we're talking about Dragon Ball stuff. Specifically the Dragon Ball Super Broly, Broly and Chi-Li spinoff that I've talked about before. So we're just going to talk about kind of the first half of Villain 4 instead of going all the way through defeats because Villain 4 is, as I may have mentioned previously, actually going to be a previous movie villain that I'm trying to sort of rehabilitate. It's Janemba. So I got a whole bunch of doodles to throw up onto the channel and I hope you guys have fun following through with them. So here we have Boss Chisadai's Command and Control Center. He's there with T-Kip. They are just discovering what's going on. Zolgorgon's betrayal. Broly's immense power. Boss Chisadai doesn't understand why Frieza would have such a powerful agent protecting Vampa. He's furious about Zolgorgon's defection. They have just discovered that chi -Li is wanted by the Galactic Patrol, so perhaps that will factor in later. This is a bit of a retcon moment for these episodes where we discover that Broly's full power powering up has been felt by an entity in a prison guarded by unnamed angels. These new angels are sort of spec ops slash prison wardens. Inside the prison, this quote-unquote mysterious figure, it's totally Fat Janemba. Fat Janemba has sensed the power and he feels that the magic imprisoning him is starting to weaken. as it says right there. One idea I'm toying with is that Janemba recalls the previous legendary Super Saiyan that he fought and that that legendary Super Saiyan was in fact an agent of uh, the gods and this Janemba had fought that individual and somehow maybe tainted his power with Janemba's own evil or something? I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might call this guy King Cumber. So with that idea in mind, when Janemba breaks out of his prison, you know, he leaves those former prison warden angels just in an untoward state and then goes to find the rest of his power. And so when Fat Janemba uh, traces that power signature all the way to Vampa, the first thing he encounters is one of these big ba rabbit dogs and not being too smart he just thinks oh green fur this must be the same so sensing the explosion or maybe the power signature broly goes out to investigate he's not in the best of moods given his recent outbursts he's working really hard to try and keep his power level down that's going to make it hard for janemba to figure out he is in fact the legendary super saiyan uh, he races over the Vampin countryside until he finds this giant fat yellow demon with the dog and the Ozaru pelt draped across its shoulders. And he approaches from behind, and Janemba's like, it's near. So thank you so much for watching Broly and Chi Live Villain 4 episode 0.5, I guess, or episode one half of Villain 4. Uh, this arc would probably be a little more extended since the villain has a transformation sequence. I'm thinking it'll probably be Broly uh, tries to power up and he continues to power up and power up until he achieves that full Broly state. And that's when Janemba really strikes and tries to consume all of that uh, un unnatural rage and anger that Broly experiences and he'll consume that becoming sort of like a quintessential version of himself. He'll refine that, shrink down into the more deadly looking red and purple Janemba with the awesome puzzle piece teleportation power, which is the reason I love that character. You know, he'll throw off the Ozaru cloak and then Broly will be stuck fighting him in more or less like a normal Super Saiyan form. However, uh, one of the things I plan on looking into is what that would mean if 
all of that hate, rage, and anger that Broly experiences that makes him so ballistically powerful when he's fighting in an uncontrolled fashion, what could he try and do to offset that? And we'll find out uh, in the next video. So please like, share, and subscribe. Do the thing with the bell so that you can see the next video when it comes out. Thanks so much for your time. Stay safe and have a great day.